We learned last time that we are surrounded by imagined orders. That that's what you've all Harari calls the institutions that surround us. And we learned that there are two components of those imagined orders, stories and the tribes that work to bring those stories into reality. And finally, we learned that storytelling is our master skill. It's our superpower as humans. And it's the way that we come to cooperate with other human beings. So today, I want you to know that the first story is the story of your life. The first story that you tell yourself is, is the story of the experience that you're having. The quest for belonging is an essential element of that story. And he, so here's an inescapable fact. You are the protagonist, the main character, the hero of your own story, of the story of your life. Whether you like it or not, and whether you conduct yourself like a main character is a different issue. I mean, you emerge at a different at a, at a fixed point in time. We call that your birthday, and we celebrate it each year, right? And by the time you're four, you come to understand yourself as separate from all that is you or that is not you, and things start happening to you, right? Setbacks occur, progress happens, other kids talk to you and you talk to them. Most kids interact primarily with their family up until this time. But this is when a transition into the social world begins and the age-old developmental endeavor of fitting in becomes of paramount importance. This is when belonging starts to matter. So the story of your life unfolds as a navigation of social settings and social groups. You're on a journey to figure out where you fit in, where you can contribute, where other people need you. Nothing is as devastating as not being needed. Nothing is as devastating as not having somewhere to belong. You call the story of your life the first story, or I call the story of your life, the first story, because it's, because it's the story that you're primarily responsible for. Everything you do is in service of this story. And on the surface, this idea seems kind of selfish, you know, sort of verging on narcissistic, narcissistic, right? Like this is your story and everybody just lives in it. But as you're going to soon see, that actually couldn't be any less true. Ironically, nothing is more paramount to the proper development of your first story than figuring out how you can be most useful, useful to other people. The ultimate act of selfishness is selfless service. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The first story is the story of your life. Thank you for your time and attention. If you want to sh support the show, you can do that in the, at the links in the description, especially the insider newsletter. But other than that, I'll see you next time.